Hello everyone! Welcome back to Disco Elysium. I forgot the pop filter. One moment, please. I knew I forgot something. Something just felt off. You saw the way I set this up, my word. It's kind of embarrassing, but I'm also proud of it in a weird way. I'll explain it at some point, but not this stream. Here it is. Completely facing the There we go. Pop filter is in place. Kind of, yeah. Great. And I changed the positioning of the microphone just a little bit. I haven't adapted everything to that yet. That's better. Great! Should have done this before stream. Bro, what's up? I'm just adjusting the pop filter because I forgot before stream. I had ample time. Yeah, I know the mic's... Uh, yeah, I know it's in the way. I'm just trying to adjust it. Before the stream really gets going. There we go. That's pretty good. That's a good spot. Can you fix it? I think I fixed it. Do you not want to see the pop filter? Do you want it out of the way completely? Just completely out of sight, out of mind. I don't think that's the best idea. What I can do... So I could just... Kind of do that. Just chuck it. It does... It helps. It does help. Pop out of frame two. Ayo, hey, oh, yeah. Welcome to the game, guys. Today I'm playing it without actually being there. This is completely pre recorded. We're returning. In the stream, actually. Ah, oh, it's rough. You hate to see it. Uh, last stream. Also, how are you doing, Ash? I hope you're doing well. Last stream. A lot happened. Or, uh, we did die, and then we almost died again. And everything has changed. I think six people died. As well. It's just rough. We have less than ideal health. Yeah, and, like, two suspects ran away. Just left. The, left the town. So, newly replaced glass shining in the morning light. You hear traffic outside, back in the world again. We do have a new objective. Uh, we want to look at the window. Unfortunately, there are some tasks that we just straight up can't complete anymore. I don't think. I don't know, maybe. I don't know. At this point, I'm not sure how the story is going to progress. Two people have just left. And six people died. The stereo A player has been reunited with its right speaker. That's great. And the bath? Is the bath looking better? You see gleaming white enamel, no bottles inside. Look, the door is open, you can walk right into Kim's room. That's new. I tried very hard to get through there last time and it just didn't work. Uh, We're a regular clean shaven police officer. Yeah. Excuse me. It's been a bit of a rainy day, staying inside and what- <sighs> Wow, excuse me. Staying inside and what not. It's been nice, hope everyone else has been well. How many points do we have? Looks like we have two. But there's been two nice. Yeah. I got to watch another episode of a show called Columbo, which uh, has rather long episodes, they're like 75 minutes, but it's an old detective TV show that's really good. It's a bit difficult to find, but if you know how to watch it, I mean, I suggest watching it legally, for which you need usually need a VPN but um, it's really good it's quite old though it's from like the 60s it started in the 60s kept going for a time after that but the first episode was directed by Steven Spielberg uh, he's a little little known film director you know some people may have heard of him yeah and it shows it's, it's good 
What are we going to put a point into? I feel like we've been getting caught on reaction speed quite a lot. We could probably do with a point in there. Um, maybe Volition? Although Volition hasn't really been a problem. Endurance. Endurance would be nice. I mean, we're a bit low on health. Could be a good idea. Yeah, I'm just really not sure. Our perception is so high, it's insane. Encyclopedia, I haven't really been getting much out of that. I don't know, let's, uh, let's put one into reaction speed, just, just because. Um, actually, I'm not sure. Also, I think I put it in the wrong one. Yeah, I might have. Um, oh yeah, we can continue this one. We were failing red checks, which is why I decided to turn it off, but now we can continue it. Uh, we'll save that one. I think we'll keep a point, uh, just, just in reserve. I think that's a good idea. But for now, we can spend a one on this, and I feel pretty comfortable with that. Yeah. Let's do that. And what opened up? Oh yeah, that's, <laughs> I knew I was thinking of something specific. We could go look into that as well. But here's Kim's room. Why is Kim's room so small compared to mine? The alarm is set for 6.50 a.m. Okay, we don't need a clock though. We just wake up at 7.30. I actually got up at uh, medicinal supplies in the cupboard. Mercurochrome, a scalpel, antibiotics. I actually got up at a pretty reasonable time earlier. Uh, I got up at 7. Basically, it was like 10 past, but it was 7. Uh, and that's much better than yesterday when I got up at 11.30 and I was terrified that I would wake up in the afternoon because that's like a weird fear of mine, I guess. And I already know now that it's really a fear because like I saw 11.30 and I was like, what? I need to get out of bed. These papers bear the sample of the RCM. They appear to be fragments of the lieutenant's paperwork. Half finished. You make out notes on this and other recent cases. I had got to open the, win uh, open the door to your room. He closes the notes. You were running a low bacterial fever the first night. Thank you for keeping this uh, thing alive a little longer. Uh, I'm such a burden. <laughs> I should just F off. I saw apocalyptic visions of the darkness. Behind darkness. Behind darkness. Uh, I thought I was dead for a moment. Back there, on the plaza, I think you very nearly had a heart attack. Alcoholism has damaged you more than bullets have. There's a small pause. We should go. Does my Kim voice sound different to normal? Okay, it's fine. Apparently we can't open that from the inside though. Maybe we can close the door. It's, it's polite to close a door that was closed before you opened it. Before you stepped through it. Okay, let's uh, do that first thing. Ooh. Ouch, that leg hurts. Maybe if you don't run, it'll be okay. Okay, let's not run. Let's just walk for a bit. Let's just chill. Let's walk. Yeah, let's look at what's uh, lying about. Looks like she's left something on the table. Is it a note? It's kind of covered. Yeah, there it is. Plus here's a note. Next to stacks of bills, you see a note. A few lines jotted down in large, uneven handwriting, just as the writer was about to rush out the door. Just want to adjust my jacket a bit. I'm sorry I effed everyone over. P.S. I didn't kill him. P.P.S. Gift upstairs. Ooh. A gift. The lieutenant turns to the staircase suspiciously, looking for any signs of another presence in the shadows above. Hmm. What could this gift be? I am not drawing my gun yet, but I don't like gifts. He says he's not, but his hands move instinctively towards his holster as he studies the note. Relax, not everyone is out to trap you. Seems like she left in a hurry. It's hardly surprising. Yep, I, I agree with that statement. Mm. So yeah, I really don't know. Where this story is gonna go. I don't really know what leads we have, but I'm quite excited to find out. I was actually really anticipating playing this game today. A red thread made of nylon. It leads out of the room and onto the roof. Ah, yes. A skein of life. 
I think that's how you say that. Might be skein. Clear window. This window is pristine. At least on the inside, a red thread has been taped to the glass using adhesive tape. It trembles ever so slightly in the cold wind. This is... This is ballistics. She's left a trajectory for us. The lieutenant tests the thread with his finger. Drawn taut, it rebounds instantly. Nice. We have a very high visual calculus check. You've heard what happened. Got shot. Angry. Red thread shows trajectory. Ooh, wow. That's a lot of stuff. Hey. The visual calculus ones are always so trippy to see. The golden light melts away into the blue, glossy darkness of your mind. In it are two neon-lit shapes, a man and a woman on the single bed. A two-hearted spider. What position are they in? Like the witness said, the man is kneeling. The woman is on her back. It's the night of March 4th, and, sh and a shot has just been fired. If you say so. The man looks directly at the woman. The shot's possible directions converge in his mouth. A ray cast from somewhere outside entering his brain. The red thread bisecting the room shows the trajectory of the bullet. Yeah. Where does it come from? From the roof outside. Location? A prime. Okay. I was a little bit confused about how to read that, but it's A prime. The glass fractures around the bullet hole. Shards face inwards like a corona behind the woman's back. Where does the thread lead? Maybe if you extrapolate all possible points of origin first, the thread will make sense. Inspect the ghostly figures. The man does not know the bullet has entered his brain. He never will. Death comes faster than the realization. Have a look at point A prime, the roof. Ruby ruled this out vehemently. The shot would have been heard from downstairs, where no one heard it. The likelihood of A-Prime has fallen drastically. You may be looking for a sniper. The shot had to come from a greater distance beyond A-Prime. Should we extrapolate to include every possible point of origin, Martinez? Extrapolate the radius to include all of Martinez. According to your map of this district, of the district, the shot could have come from a wide angle of location, starting with the northern edge of the abandoned boardwalk, ending with an... I always forget how to read this. Is it islet or islet? Islet in the bay. Let's call them B prime, more precisely. B for B prime for boardwalk, B double prime for land's end, and B triple prime for the islet, detective. There may be smaller points in between, but those are too fine to zoom in on. Okay, the boardwalk. 700 meters away, the likeliest of these B positions, 20% chance. A skilled sniper could have made the shot, provided he had a safe sniper's nest. Even with the light on inside, even with the light on inside, we're talking military training. At that distance, the perpetrator would have to take wind direction into account. This would explain why no one heard the gunshot. The bullet came from far away. B double prime. Bars. Thank you. 1.2 kilometers away, the least likely of these positions, let's say 3%. A truly skilled sniper could have done it. Possibly from a tent? No, too far-fetched. Have a look at B, triple prime, the islet. One kilometer away, an unlikely point of origin, beyond the dock somewhere, on an islet in the Bay of Martinez, perhaps? There are islets there, badly charted as they may be. I'm going to Google something while I'm speaking. Do, 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 do. I was right. It is an islet. Although that's not really surprising, I was just worried. <clears throat> okay, the shot would have been a small miracle, 5% likelihood. There is an extremely narrow field of view from the bay to the window between Rue de saint Lane 8B and 33A. The angle would have been extreme and access to the islets is questionable, but it is a possibility. Then there's the thread the witness left. She did have a first-hand view of the event. Perhaps she found something in the outer reaches of her memory of it. You need to inspect it again. I extrapolated all the points of origin. Now, where does the thread lead? It suggests the bullet came from the extreme upper quadrant of possible angles, from a point beyond the roof, B triple prime. Hmm, we got 10 experience for that. The island in the bay. Is she trying to tell us the shot came from the islet? He nods, unless she thinks the perpetrator was standing on the, on, uh, on the ring antenna. That is where the thread seems to point. How did she know how to do this? She was there that night. She would have known precisely where... Why is my voice so weird today? 
known precisely where the bullet hole was in the glass. She had a long time to think about it after, standing on that roof, staring at the glass. It also looks like there may be more to her skill set than we know. The question is, should we trust her? Of course we don't trust her. This is her way of saying she's sorry. I find that hard to believe, but at this point, what difference does it make? This is also one, this is also one of the few places in Martinez we haven't been to. So it is. For a second, he seems tired. Maybe we need to go to the island? The wind blows in from the open window, the lieutenant's eyes looking into the cold distance across the water. The lead is flimsy. You might as well go around Martinez looking under every rock and talking to every person. But what else is there? I mean, we kind of did do that already. What else is there? Not a lot, no. I'm going to the island. Are you in? I like this one. This one has a good exclamation mark. I'm going to go with the exclamation mark. Okay, let's go to the effing island. He takes a second to gather himself, then says, How do we get there? Joyce Messier had her sloop, but she's gone. Lillian, the net picker, she's tarring her boat. Ah, yes. Of course. The village. Let's go. Blink. Is that... We just have to blink. That's it. I mean, I don't see why we need to go outside now. But let's do it anyway. The thread is tied to the antenna. Nice. That wouldn't have helped that much. Uh, let's take this way. I wonder if there's anything new. Just gonna move this further back. Seems like my voice is quite loud. Yeah, even still. It's fine. Let's just put it there. Sorry about that. A bunch of jostling noises, I'm sure. Mmm, doesn't seem like anything news about. Oh, I can only walk. I remembered at the last second. I don't know if that static effect is intentional or not. I don't even know if you can see it in the little display. Speaking of the, like, overlay, I have been meaning to make it look a little tidier. Um, but I don't think it looks terrible. And I was wondering what people actually think of it. Because I've been reading some, like, forum posts where people are like, oh, I hate overlays, I just want the game, and if they need a webcam, uh, just put a green screen behind it, like, if they really have to. Uh, determine where the shot came from, and go to the island. Right. And we completed some tasks as well. But I like overlays, as you can probably tell by my having one. Uh, and I think this one is pretty neat as well. So, like, I'm inclined to think it looks nice. It looks organized. And... Oh, okay, this is still locked. Um... But yeah, I mean... Let me know what you think. Elaine, seeing you approach, the bruised man clenches his fist. Oh, you! Didn't think we'll see you walking anytime soon. He looks... Elaine, look, it's the cowardly cop. Huh? What? He looks up, his eyes full of confusion, as if he'd just woken from a deep sleep. He says with a little nod, but the remaining Hardy Boys don't seem to register his words. Um, Is he okay? Point to Elaine. Does he look like he's okay? He does not. His unshaven face is almost grey, and he reeks of piss, sweat, and booze. How badly was he hurt? He wasn't. That's the thing. He sighs heavily. Titus, Theo, Dennis, Angie, they're all gone, but he got away without a scratch. I just... He seems barely able to keep his head up. There's nothing left. Nothing! He has lost the will to live. It's survivor's guilt. He feels like he should have died with the others. He may kill himself if he doesn't find a new purpose, or else go in on... Or else go on in this way. Not dead, but not really living either. Yeah, stuff's tough, but you need to get off your ass and finish this. The dull eyes looking back fr uh, back to you from the narrow face momentarily lights up and mumbles, What? Crino, Wild Pines, all the people responsible for the deaths of your friends, you're just going to leave it like that? Sons of... Yeah. He mumbles something in mask. When he sinks down on the table again, a malevolent smile spreading across his face. Was this really the best idea? The lieutenant pauses to think for a moment. 
guess you may have prolonged his existence a bit, if he can still remember this when he sobers up. If you think this will keep him from offing himself, I'll make sure to remind him. So far I've just been pouring whiskey in him to keep him sedated. He nods. It's gonna happen to the hard boys now that Titus is dead. T -t 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 the spit flying out of his face is accompanied by painful crimes. Titus. Titus. Dead. What's gonna happen to the Hardy Boys? Looking around you, man. This stuff's done. There are no more Hardy Boys. You two are just going to get back to hauling containers in the harbor? No, man. I, I don't know. I guess the Union will still be policing the neighborhood, but he looks at his day's companion. Who's gonna do it now? You, Eugene. Me? No, man. I'm not a leader, he smiles suddenly. You know, Plaz only recruited me because I played the guitar, so the team could use the morale boost. If any of them had leadership capacity besides Tarzis, it's him. Keep encouraging him. You can do it. Eugene, you boys, has quite the ring, doesn't it? Sounds like you gotta go with it, Mr. Outside Hire, then. I ain't gonna stick around for that, he shakes his head res resolutely. Sorry. I mean, stay because of Titus. There was a man born to lead. Uh, let's try to... Do the other option. You can do it. Eugenie boys has a quite the ring to it, doesn't it? What? No! If I'd stay, we'd keep the name to honor Titus. You're right. Eugene Hardy doesn't sound bad either. It's a noble thought. You're going to do all right. No one is born to lead. Titus was... His eyes meet yours. But thanks for the vote of confidence. If I don't stick around, it's all over. So I guess, so I guess sort I have to now. Yeah, man, you know, he slaps his hand on the table in a sudden burst of drunkenness. You know, you've got this. You got this. He looks off to the side, eyes filled with worry. I haven't got Jack, Al. There's something there, a germ of determination. He knows he has no choice but to rise to the occasion. This is not completely ludicrous. Him and Titus were the only detectives of the bunch. Titus more, but Eugene at least knew how to think along. Okay, any idea what happened to Cassia? Damn, songbird of misery, that one. The man shakes his head. And do you have any information on this songbird of misery? Ah. Uh, God said she took off some time before the firefight, that's all. I'm trying to remember if there was anything. Oh, yeah. He said she seemed to be in a real hurry. Take care, guys. Yeah, you too. It's a rough world out there. He shakes his head. It's not easy being a cop. We were too hard on you. Both of you. He turns to the lieutenant. You shouldn't have screwed with you like that or well, like we did you got between us and a lot of bullets in that fight martinez owes you one it's kind of you to say the lieutenant closes his notes take care of your friend okay i will you take care of yours nods to you a sharp pain shoots up your side and into your stomach you must not look too good luckily it passes wow you work hard i do Oh yes, you hustle. You're a provider. It's tough out there, but you keep it real and provide. I guess I do, yeah. Oh yeah, like a horse. A workhorse. For hard work. What hard work do I do exactly? Look at yourself, you're a human pedometer. You must have walked 200,000 steps down cracked asphalt, mosaic, sand, and linoleum after you re-emerged. That's the sign of a hustler who never gives up. The world is harsh and people are evil. You didn't make it that way, and you won't let it break you. You ride. Yeah, I ride. A little. Yeah, I ride till I die. <laughs> That's just what it's like. Life and death, but you got gills on your side, baby. Got those black papers with the faces of the innocents is on them. You bring in the Franco Negros and the Soles. It ain't easy, but you do it. Day in and day out. You didn't make the rules, but you won't lose. You're a cop and a spinter and a money printer. I won't say I didn't make that ceiling guy give some of his money either. Yeah. Can't say that you you shook him. Can't say that you shook him. You're a killer, a shark. Hmm. Interesting. Sure, I got that giant novelty check from Everard. You could say I took some money from that manana guy too. Didn't log that in as a donation a donation either. You don't log any of that stuff in. You're a straight rider. Uh, and then there's the pawning stuff. Yeah, you're in the sales business. Shake him for that stuff, then pawn it off, law officer style. Guess I've made some gills, sure. 
Sure, sure. And has it been easy? Is life easy? Have you not got into cardiac arrest? Are you not about to have an anxiety attack or shoot yourself in the mouth? But you still hustle 24-7, ride or die. Now ask yourself, are you rich? No, I'm actually not. That's right, you work harder than anyone. You almost rode yourself to the grave and you're still practically a hobo. Why is that? Um... I don't know, why am I so poor? I don't know. Because of the taxes, G-Man's got his jam covered, sticky fingers in your pocket, stealing from you every time you buy, sell, walk, talk, fart so much to sneeze. Aren't taxes almost non-existent in the Gassamer state? That is, Revishol? I thought there were no taxes. You and I both, but they got those indirect modes of taxation. Sales tax, excise tax, extraction tax, this tax that doesn't even have a name. Plus, there's the stuff people in other countries pay for that make them ask for mo more money from you here. The Gossamer state's a myth. In total, the Colossian government is taking over. 98% of all your money. No way. I guess I'm a free market fundamentalist now. Are you sure? That seems like a pretty big number. Yeah, this isn't helping me solve my money problem. It's only making me into a free market type. What are you, a racist? Don't be a racist. Be a cool immigrant, ultra-liberal, free market advocate. Ride or die, keep it secret. This guy's appropriating the emerging Boogie Street lingo as part of his sales pitch for the free market economy. Well, if not being an ultra-liberal makes me a racist, then I guess I should be an ultra-liberal. Trying to sound like a Boogie Street youth to peddle me this stuff, aren't you? Yeah, ain't it cool, Ryder? Ain't it street? It's not. Not. It's just not. I don't want the capitalist thought. I... I kinda hate capitalism, so... Loki hate capitalism. Whoa! Un jeu je serai de retour pres 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 de tu. Ah, uh, pres de toi. One day I will return to your side. Ah, uh, un jeu... Okay, that makes sense. The graffito has been painted over the traces of the fight that took place here. It smells of blood and heavy fuel oil. I know un jeu means one day. Je is I. I, d I didn't know Sirai was, was... I think that's what that says. Could, that could be an L, I guess. I don't know. De reto pre de toi. Uh, okay. I think this is side. No, this is side. One of them. I used to do French. Uh, yeah. This was Cindy the Skull. Looks like Cindy the Skull finally found the words for her masterpiece. The lieutenant crouches, touching the fuel oil with his finger. Looks like it, yes. This is still fresh. It wasn't here yesterday. I smell heavy fuel oil and blood. Some of this is even yours. Heavy fuel oil. Isn't that flammable? What are you trying to imply, fingers? Huh. You could buy some smokes, light up a ciggy and throw it in there. You know, just to see what happens. See if it's flammable. Better that way. Safer. Leave. Uh, thanks, fingers. Uh, walk. 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 Leg hurts. We'll probably lose health if we run, is, is my bet. Let's quickly talk to Cindy about what she did. It's nice to, excuse me, take it slow every now and then. You just have to appreciate the little things like giant graffiti. The sea breeze carries more than salt, meat, not rotten, not flesh, grilled. Someone's cooking? Is someone cooking? It's quickly... Might be that. Who knows? Oh, Cindy's not there. Uh, maybe she's in her house. House. In her hole. Okay, it's this one. I guess we could talk to her as well. I don't know, would there be new dialogue? Probably not. Uh eh, we can check. I'm sure everyone wants to talk about the shootout. I didn't double click that. Yeah, you can't walk across those. 
Oh well. You know, my mic kept falling over, which was pretty awkward. So I had to re angle it in a way. I don't think that's that interesting, but I thought I'd mention it. If I sound different, that's probably why. I think I n noticed now, or well, wanted to mention it just because it seems like I'm registering as a bit quieter than usual. So, yeah. Maybe if I had good posture. Maybe. Maybe up here? Who's up here? Nope, nothing there. Yep. I don't know where Cindy is. Maybe everyone's moved. Well, I guess the gender woman is still there. Just gonna take my jacket off. I'm wearing an N64 shirt, a console I've never played. Give me a moment. Okay, nothing new there. Uh, let's go through this one. I guess we are kind of low on health. We could put some points into endurance. Thanks, game. Uh, is anyone here? We said we smelt something grilled. Check what's going on. Yeah, what's this? Went to the village on the coast officer. See you there, Joyce says on the note on the post. But she has also left now, so that's old news. But it is free experience. So I don't mind. Anything lying about? I don't know. I wonder if Kuno and Kuno S have new thoughts on me now that I've taken a bullet. They might think I'm cool. Trying to sneak up on me again? Trying to snuff me out? Get away, pig! Okay, I guess not. I guess not. Why do we have, we have so many things for morale? I guess we do also have a thought that makes us recover morale whenever we fail a check. Which, uh, kind of helps us from losing morale, like ever. But, I could really do with the health ones. Maybe, I, oh yeah, I could buy some nose feds. I don't know why it's saved there. I've been trying to figure out what triggers it to autosave. I, uh, for the life of me, cannot. Do you know, I want to mention something that I was thinking about. We still have the replace the last bowl, or lost bowl, sorry, uh, quest. And I haven't seen anywhere where we could actually do that, or like any way to do that. So what I'm thinking, oh, those guys are gone. What I'm thinking, is that it might be on the islet that we're about to visit, or soon to visit, uh, and that would mean that uh, you can't get it before Rene dies, I don't think. Maybe. But I think it means everyone's gone. Probably a lot to talk to people about now. Like, why is everyone gone? Well, I know why everyone's gone. It's because there's a out. Uh, yeah, could I buy some stuff? Can I have a nose of head? Or is this for, does it give me three charges? I think it does. How much do I have? Oh yeah, I have plenty. Cool. Thank you. Yeah, it does give me three charges. Much better. And that didn't cost too much. I think I also had bottles. Let me actually turn the bottles in. Ugh, my back. Ooh. 
That was surprising. I guess I do need to work on my posture. Insert bottles. Yeah, we had two bottles. Nice. That didn't really cover the expense of the healing item, but it wasn't too bad. Okay, well, Komi Manyan is still there. We can talk to him quickly. Let's see what he's saying. I'm a little disappointed none of the racists got killed there. The boyadero stares at you with respect, then gestures towards the trickles of blood adorning your clothes. Danger comes with the boyadero lifestyle, right? He shrugs. There are types of danger. Uh, I don't know what accent, how to do the accent for this guy, sorry. The one I'm usually concerned with is lung cancer. We're getting mauled by wildlife, not bullets. It calls back to an older era, where this was commonplace though. You have a true boyadero heart. Right, so where is everyone? Hiding? Gathering themselves? The harbor's in full lockdown, friend. You're not getting in or out for the time being. What's going to happen next? Time will tell. He shrugs. I'll tell Everard you drop by. I'm sure you'll be glad. He gives you a small wink. What will you be doing now? I'll be okay here, doing lookout. He surveys the red flag straight from the harbor gates. Quite the side, aren't they? Getting to like that red I am. Don't worry about me. I live to alleviate the worries of our brothers. See if any other insane killers turn up. Then I'll run and live. Sure you'll do good. Try not to get shot, eh? I'm sure I'll be luckier than you, friend. His grin is as wide as a desert. Good talking to you. Gotta run. Yeah. Okay. Let's, uh, let's go back to the village. Uh, I guess we can risk running now. Now that we have some healing items. I, can, I think we've basically handled everything to do with this bag. I uh, don't mind the gardening gloves. They still help. And also then kind of complete the outfit, if I'm being honest. <laughs> kind of complete the look. Oh, wait, I wonder if things are open. Let me see. Nah. Doesn't seem like it. Seems like everything's still kind of closed off in some places. Like here? Still closed. Not a big deal. I don't think we'll ever get to explore there. It's fine. It's fine. As if I care. Eh, why not? Traps full of locusts, but they seem weak and unhealthy. A few lie on their backs with their legs switching. Still no phasmid. Poor things. Yeah. Hate to see it. the car or the creaking ice is this always turned up I don't know yeah I'm not sure about that one officer what happened you're wounded why are you wounded you look terrible you're not limping you're you she sounds almost disappointed with you reprimanding you for falling and hurting your knee Got shot in the foot. It was pretty badass. You would you would have liked it. I'm a cop. I don't merely exist in this world. I live in the between life and death. Um. You seem angry. Why? Look at you. You can barely walk. Uh. Uh. I wanted to talk to you about something else. Your boat. From the shooting in town. Weird gunshots. She's not letting it go that easy. Hear gunshots all the time, but they were closer than usual. Yeah. There was an exchange of fire on the Rue de Saint Guilaine. Oh, it's the Rue de Saint Guilaine. Something to be worried about, ma'am. Also got shot in the chest. 
see the other guys. They're all dead. Uh, did we get shot in the chest? I thought we got shot in the arm. Uh, yeah, I also got shot in the chest. To brag about, officer. It's not serious. He'd be okay. Yeah. You feel the ligament move on your left shoulder and a small warm drip of blood. It's nothing. You should see the other guys. They're all dead. I have a question for you. Can I help you with something? Kim's presence make it, makes it awkward? Okay. Kim, we still need to get rid of you. We need to get to that island. That won't be a problem. It's wind still and the tar just dried. She points to her skiff next to the jetty. You've got two days of relative sunshine ahead. I don't know what accent I'm going for there. I'm sorry, I'm pretty sure she's Scottish, but I just, I just struggle. Can we borrow your boat? If you promise to bring it back, and no scraping the hull, I just got it nice and yellow, and no drinking on the boat. Her eyes narrow, and no joyriding either. Of course, ma'am. It's only for a day or two. Official police business. Aye, she nods. Not long attentively. The crow's feet disappear from the corners of her eyes as she smiles at you. Uh, what's on the that island? Nothing. J just ruins. Used to be some kind of fortification there before the war. For the communards. As an anti-aircraft gun, I think. Oh, an anti-aircraft gun. Bombed to bits in the landing. I haven't been there myself. Always steered clear of it. Hasn't been there herself. Who has been? Who has been then, if not you? My husband used to drink there. Him and his drinking buddies. Always seemed like a bad place to drink to me. I'm doing more Irish than Scottish, and that's a bit rude. People died there at the landing, you know. Died there during the landing, you know. My mother told me. This must be one of the many fortifications that was used in the dying days of the revolution against coalition forces before they took the city. She looks around. The kids sometimes go there too. I know they do, on rafts. I tell them not to, but they bring back old bullet casings and such. Which kids? The twins. She points to the two kids playing on the concrete yard. God forbid they bring the girl along on some rickety barge. Can, uh... Can we maybe ask your twins about that place before we go? Will that be alright? Be my guest. She looks at the boys. They have a strange way of talking. See if you can get anything useful out of them. I seldom do. Same thing I should know about getting there? Well, most of it's sunken. Underwater. That means concrete underwater. Cut your boat if you're not careful. And be sure to enter from the south side. Water's deep there. Aye aye, Captain. Thank you. We'll use your skiff to get there then. She nods. Please be conservative with the fuel, will you? I just filled her up, but it's still. But it's a small tank. Yeah, be seeing you. Let's talk to. I don't know if I should be running. It's fine. So to the twins. I'm gonna change this. Getting ready to sail. There we go. Sail! The scruffy haired little boy kicks a stone while the other watches him do it. Apparently sea shanties are popular on TikTok now. I don't know, because I don't go anywhere near TikTok if I can. Avoid it, I mean. I don't know. But that's kind of crazy. Okay, kids. Is little Lily your sister point to the house? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay, kids. You've been to that island, right? On that island? The one who's busy kicking his stone points at the bay? Yes, that one. I need to know what's there. That's, um, nothing. The boy pauses to think with his finger in his mouth. Just a sea fort and some plants. You can take... Excuse me, a raft there. It's great. And, and, the other one butts in. We make a fire. We make, we make a fire. Mm-hmm. His brother nods, gather the sticks. Gather the sticks for the fire and bullets. Or not real bullets, empty bullets. Bullet shells. There are a lot of them left over from the war. This could be important. Wait, you mean shells? Mm-hmm. There are lights. The fire guy comes and asks us to put the fire out. It must mean a human being on that island, but it's been cut off. Um, Your father used to go to that island too, didn't he? Our father killed himself. Don't say that. He didn't. His b brother punches him. The boy's eyes well up like he's about to start crying. 
Say nothing. I'm sorry, the one says to the other, rubbing his brother's shoulder affectionately. He mentioned something about lights. I starts one of them. It's hard to tell which one now. I don't know. Did you mean the uh, electrical lights? He points to the street light. Um, yes, the boy looks at his toes. Someone lives on the island? No, the boy answers, shaking his head vehemently. His brother looks at him, then at you. Yes, he says. The lieutenant raises his eyebrow and whips out his notebook. Let's go with yes. Why is he the fire guy? Because, because, the boy pauses to think. Because he asks to put the fire out, the other explains. Why does he ask you to put the fire out? Um, I don't know. He doesn't like it. He doesn't like people to be there. He shouldn't go. Yes, the other one adds laconically. Standing with his hands glued to his sides like a little tin. They're both... They're actually just both crouched there. Why are you lying to me? Like a little tin soldier? Is there anything else you can tell me about this guy, Age? Does he live there? No, he doesn't live there. I don't think... No, he lives there. The other not. He's been there twice. Two times. Huh? The first one pauses to think and then comes to some kind of conclusion. He doesn't live there. He isn't there sometimes. Anything else? What does this guy look like? I don't know. They say almost in unison. How come? We we ran. He just yelled we shouldn't be there. So I don't really know. Is there anything more you can tell me about the island? There's a... The boy says, rubbing his eyes. It's clear that he has no intention of finishing the sentence. Great. Lights. Fire guy. The lieutenant looks at you. We should check up on that island. Bye kids. Take care. Nice. Yeah. My word, not that. I guess we'll have to figure out a way to do that. It's fine though. Uh, I just want to go to the church slash club quickly so that I can do a reaction speed test. It's quite funny how our portrait does the horrific necktie. Even though we're not wearing it at the moment. But I think at the start of the game, uh, when we didn't have the horrific necktie, it just wasn't there. That was pretty funny. Should we try taunting? I think that's a terrible idea. Oh yeah, I want to talk to... Excel. Axel? Excel? Got shot in the leg, pointed to him. Ouch, she looks at you like, I didn't notice you limping, but I thought maybe it was your thing or something. When I was 16, I used to date this guy who had a limp, but it only showed when he was sober, so I guess it wasn't real or something. I don't know, she shrugs, eyes glazed over. Then she turns back to you, anyway, shot in the leg, I'm sorry, man, that must suck. Yeah, uh, I want to see if there's anything I can do to improve my chances here. Yeah, that'll increase my reaction speed. Cool. Oh, these increase composure. I didn't even notice. Uh, that minus this reaction speed. I swear I've said that before as well. I swear I've had this exact same realization before about the composure shoes. Uh, nothing for reaction speed, doesn't seem like. Oh yeah, and this also raises composure. <clears throat> no, okay. This is the only thing that helps with reaction speed. Let's try it. Welcome back. 17%, let's go. Fail. Okay. Actually, that's it for now. Do, do we want to just try again? We could. Doesn't seem like a terrible idea. Sure. Why not? Yeah. Let's go for it. No regrets. What's it now? 28%? Let's go. Come on, we have to hit it this time. Obviously. No, wow, it was a it was a natural failure. Natural one, critical failure. Fantastic. What do we even need to roll? A minimum of nine. Yeah, that's not that easy. Yeah, actually, that's it for now. Oh, well.
And you? Oh, hey man, it's good to see you. It's composure. Got shot in the hip. Yeah. On my hat back. I didn't know I could have put dancing shoes on. I don't know if we can still talk to, uh, what's his name, Tizo? I think it might have been. The guy who crawls up on the ceiling. Uh, let's... Yeah, let's, I mean, let's go to the island. Seems like the next best thing to do. Oh, what's this? Hold on. A book, a primer for small kids. Sure. Should I see what that is? Ah, a textbook for the first grade in primary school. On the cover, a humanoid bear is pushing a wheelbarrow full of letters. He's not doing a good job. The letter S is dangerously tangling from the cart, while the E fell off a long time ago. Children should pay more attention. Oh, indeed, that is terrifying. Uh, that is extremely that I'm horrified. Uh, there's only an hour left on this, so let's try it. You hold in your hands the colorful primer. The title reads, A Primer for Small Kids. There's a bear involved. Exactly what I need. Mm-hmm. This book will show you the score, get you oriented with those basic concepts you appear to be hazy on. The anthropomorphic bear will give you the lowdown of your life. On what? The alphabet. Flip through the pages. Every page has one word designating one letter of the alphabet. With a faded illustration, most of them are scientific and cultural principles. It goes as follows. Let's do this. A is for azimuth. B is for boreas. C is for cosine. D is for diamat. E is for ellipse. F is for phlogiston. Flo I don't even know that. G is for gamut. Mm -hmm. H is for homeboy. Why? That took a big turn. I is for econ. J is for jura. K is for collapse. L is for Laudanum, M is for Myriad, N is for Nadir, O is for Oriole, P is for Perihelion. Nod stoically. Yeah! Q is for Quasar, R is for Rhododendron, S is for Sinus, T is for Tricolour. Tricolour. Which is the French flag, I believe. U is for the uh, U is for ultra, V is for vector, W is for war height, X is for xylophone, Y is for Yistava. I don't know how to say that. And Z is for zenith. That's it. <laughs> That's the alphabet. You know the alphabet now. In what is called the IL, the international language, developed by scientists from Grad in the 20s, sinus means sign, for example. Kim, I know the alphabet now. Good, I also know the alphabet. <laughs> it is a very useful skill to have, he thinks, for all sorts of life activities, like reading. Put the book away. That only took 20 minutes of our time. Not enough. Simply not enough. Okay, well, more time will pass. Let's head out. Uh, I guess we need to be here. Let's go. I stocked up on medical supplies. Don't need more supplies, but we have plenty of them. Let's just keep going. I'm quite excited. This is where I've been wanting to go like the whole time. Anything to pick up? Nope. Okay. Let's uh, let's go. The Rue A72 motor skiff. A skiff with a small steering engine in the back floats on the calm mirror of the sea. Its two seats are empty. The boat's belly is a shiny yellow. Ooh, legendary. Nice. The boat's belly is a shiny yellow color, industrial paint over fresh tar. You see it reflects off the water, along with the factory number, A72. Once you got in, once you get in, that's it. One pull of the starter handle and you're off into the bay. A strange trepidation comes over you. Are you sure you want to go now? Have you made all the necessary preparation, uh, preparations? Closed all your accounts? Have welfare? I don't like you. Capitalism. Remember what the net picker said. It's a small tank. You won't be going back and forth on this. Uh, <laughs> I'm not ready yet. I need the boombox. Ok, 
Okay. Let's save. Why not? I don't think I can do much more. Uh, okay, remember what the net picture said? It's a small tank, you won't be going back and forth on this. Have I done everything necessary? I'm not sure, but let's just go ahead. What? What what? How else do we blast sad FM on our way to the island? You heard me, don't make me repeat myself. Fine, why not? He shrugs. Very cool, now tune into Sad FM. You know what you want. You know you want to. Sad FM is a radio station specializing in sad, slow rock songs. You seem to know its frequency by heart. Uh. How else are we going to listen to Sad FM? Fine, he gives you a resign track. Let's blast Sad FM then. Okay, that didn't change anything. Get into the ride the. Uh, let's, let's go. I didn't read that properly. This is sad. Pour one out for the boys. The boys being Kim and Harry. Great performance. The boat comes to a slow stop. The lieutenant turns the engine off. Then there's silence. So if you didn't know, that was actually... Um... And that was already a song that we've heard. It like sometimes plays when we we're investigating stuff. And then they added vocals over it. So that's pretty cool. In the silence, a spot of wings, a flock of quails, takes off in the distance. And we got 10 experience. Let's go, he whispers. Climb out. Okay, we can take this off now. 
Cool. Maybe there are bottles here. Jeez. Oil. The rusted chain trails off into the ocean. The chain trails off into the ocean, connecting the island to the supply depot on the coast. Pointed. This leads to the depot in Land's End. The lieutenant looks at the mechanism overhead. Ah yes, so it seems. What do you think it was used for? For bringing munitions to the island, maybe? And supplies? You could also lock the bay when you raise the chain. As a defense m defensive measure, locking off that side of the bay. Lock it from whom? From enemies. He looks up ahead. Enemies of the commune of Revishol. The sea fort was a revolutionary fortification, I believe. Finish thought. This is a nice song. Makeshift bridge. The bombs were powerful enough to break the foundation. Let's look around. This is a new song, but it's nice. These tires are falling apart. They're at least 50 years old. Wow. Wow. Excuse me, I really dig this song, sorry. Maybe we are finally going to get all our answers. Attention, inflammable, which means it's able to be set on fire. Some fuel has leaked out of the barrel. Black viscous. There's a lingering trace of mazot in the air. I think that's how you pronounce that. I don't actually know what it means. I assume it's like a compound. Yep. Perception hearing. The dry grass crackles under your feet as you stop. Far away, birds' wings touch the still surface of the sea. What is that flutter? A flock of quail departs, now more than a hundred meters away, a hundred and two, a hundred and five, underneath the flutter. On the islet, there is almost no wind, the snow quietly falling on the reeds, bulrushes swaying on the waterline, long dried leaves chafing against each other, like a silent orchestra tuning at the beginning of some major work. To the west, a silent hiss, sea air moving through the needles of a pine tree. To the east, the faraway roar of the city, distant like today's dream. Before it, the sound of sand, the low tide filtered through its grains, a bird tending to its feathers. Snow falls on the water, melting away without even a whisper. Ahead? A low hum. The air slowly moves through a concrete box, through its ancient slits and cracks, resonating, hollow. A big building. Beyond that, further north. Air flows out of a pillbox window. There is very little there. The air cossets flowers on a meadow. Absolute silence. Reeds motionless. Bulrushes motionless. A flake of snow falls on an extinguished campfire. Yes. Below the surface. Call the Mama Dakwa. Kim. Yes. Momentarily, the sounds and the sounds are swept away. Pain shoots up your right foot and into your groin. Pretty silent on this island. It is. Is that why we're stopping? Mm-hmm. Wait, I have to listen to one more thing. Kim. Yes? Have you noticed how quiet it is? Yes, I have. Is that why we're stopping? Mm-hmm. Kim. Yes? It's really silent on this island. It is. Is that why we're stopping? Sorry, let's move on. And apparently the Kolda Mama da Kwa is here. This barrel says ICM. You see a star with little specks in it. ICM? This feels familiar somehow. Kim, what is the ICM? Insel Indian Citizens Militia. The official name of the Communal Dami. The black and white army of the revolution. RCM, it sounds like RCM, Revishol Citizens Militia. It does, why? The RCM may descend from the RCM. May? It's impossible to say. He looks toward the darkened doorway. It was chaos after the war. The name was good for getting people to join us. Revishol West was mostly workers and criminals. Nice political thoughts rush through your neocortex. 
A mediocre athlete would, pain for, would pant from dragging around his body on a busted crutch. But not you, you're thinking about politics, with blood dripping down your thigh. It's a little embarrassing in 51, no? Maybe we need a rebrand? Just catch your breath. He bows to inspect the barrel. This is better preserved than the others. You can still read the sign. A white star, point to the star on the label. No, he looks at it. An upside down star. With its horns in the sky, the symbol of the commune. Those spec stars too? No, that's the uninhabited archipelago. Uh, archipelago. A DeLorean era symbol of insulin, known as the face in the sea. Looks old. What's it still doing here? After, he thinks, 44 years? That's not nearly enough to hide what happened here, Lieutenant Freighter. One of these barrels was still leaking fuel, as you saw. The city is full of things like this. Old bullets, guns, fuel. Finish thought. Nice. Maybe we'll find our murder weapon here. Warm blood trickles down your armpit. The ligature is off. It's nothing. Um... Okay. No way to get up there, the stars are gone. Hey, new skill point. Nice, just leveled up like that. See? The experience counts. Also, was that really loud? Might have been, my bad. Uh, yeah, I don't know. I don't know what to upgrade. We'll see, maybe suggestion, why not? Uh, actually, yeah, let's just hang on to it for a bit. Could come in handy. Okay, I think we're done here for now, so let's go inside. I don't think we need to forget any thoughts. I think we have some pretty good thoughts. Oh. I didn't realize that was on a different level. Careful, these stairs have collapsed. Oh really? Was that a perception check? This was once an armament rest. Twin cannons were attached here, medium distance, large caliber. Wow. Oh, what's this? Microgrid generator. An old cylindrical generator is nested above the ammo lift, with makeshift electrical wiring running out of its side and across the floor. The cables disappear into the wall to your right. The Tim puts his hand on the metal battle, uh, barrel, checking excuse me, for warmth. It's cold now, he concludes. And someone has been maintaining it. The wiring has been repaired. Where do these wires lead? He looks at the wall socket. Downstairs somewhere. What kind of generator is this? Liquid carbon. I would imagine it takes mazot. He points to the open fuel cap on the side of the dynamo. The kind that's favoured by vagrants and fuel thieves. It's been a long winter. Long. Cold. If anyone stayed here, they'd need a generator. Tap on the side. A hollow ring. The canister is empty. Dust falls from the generator down into the ammo lift. What does this mean? A generator here? I don't know. I'm not a philosopher. That is his idea of a joke. I am. This generator proves the universe is material. Kick the generator. He nods approvingly. He even smiles. Uh. I meant, why is it here? Someone with basic electrical skills has restored it in order to keep the room warm. Maybe it's the fire guy. The wind outside picks up. Suddenly, with a faint howl, inside it's warm. Leave. There's a desk and a bed. Books, mostly fantastique and historical fiction. Fiction. I don't know why I added extra letters there. Dishes stained with sauce and fire, a survivor's kitchen. Mm. You see candles planted on a broken rangefinder. Is this a bed? Moth bitten bedsheet keeps the wind out. Spring mattress. There's a greasy old spring mattress in the corner resting on piles of soft cover books. White linen and a pillow are visible under a worn out caracal blanket. Someone has been squatting here. The lieutenant inspects the bed. The linen is fresh. Recently washed. How recently? A flash of pain interrupts you, making you wince instead of letting the words out. You know, officer, he looks at you with a touch of concern. You can rest here if you're feeling tired. I will keep watch. You could use some rest for what it, for what's ahead. Maybe there's a little shot I Just an hour? No time to rest now. Yes, any time. If you need a rest later, it's okay by me. You don't have to be a hero. Yeah, I just want to finish inspecting stuff. 
that a oh yeah, it's the communist guy. Oh, communard. Yeah, I wanted to inspect this. Then we can rest. Well, inspect the rest of stuff as well. This great blast room must weigh over ten tons. Rust peels off it. You see a small metal door nests inside a larger one. A heavy steel blast door. There is a conventional keyhole above the handle. It's very small. What's on the other side? Another part of the island, probably. The lieutenant looks into the keyhole. The lock looks like it could still be usable. How do we open this? He looks at the door, then at its bigger brother, then at the lock. Maybe this is one of the doors we don't open. He's right. It would be better to open its big brother. A powerful engine hangs under the ceiling. You must control the blast door. You're right. We open the big one. Do you see controls anywhere? I think there's a console just southeast. He shuffles his feet to stay warm. Let's look around. Getting the blast door open seems like the best plan. Ooh, stuff. Money and magnesium. And here? Uh, more magnesium. So I guess yellow means money is there. I haven't picked up on this pattern. Uh, can I go this way? I can. So let's see what's here. This hatch is jammed shut. Water rushes below, far down below. And on this side. We'll rest soon, don't worry. Harry will be fine. Needs to do something by- oh, okay, it was telling us to ditch Kim again. Ooh, a square. A firing slit, you can't see inside. Is this another new song? I think so. must have been directed to take out such a huge chunk. I concur. What is all that hissing? No, but it's nice here. Just not this side. Anything? Oh, what's this? The pain in your pelvis makes you wince, then you continue. I guess we should stop running. The inside of the fortress, you make out the console and the blast door. Maybe it's just the grass rustling. See stuff. A weathered artillery map showing coordinates of in the Bay of Revishol. An old medicine cabinet, nearly stocked with Draumine. Yeah, and money. I'll take it. And this? This is another bed. Mattress net. Nest. There's a rain-soaked mattress on a concrete slab, only half covered by the crumbling roof. At the head of it, double em uh, embrasures. Firing slits, like two, s two eyes in the wall. This looks like a good place to aim from. The lieutenant looks around. He steps close with his hand on his gun. Inspect the mattress. Single person mattress. Modern. Civilian use. Brand name? Mohori, I think. Oh, yeah. Uh, uh, Mar Marjorie? I don't know. There's a fuel stain on the cover, along with cigarette burns. And an empty can of beans on the ground next to it, filled to the brim with cigarette buns. Pick, out, pick one out of the can. The silhouette of a tobacco picker adorns the paper filter. The brand? Teomotiri. Contemporary Revisholians prefer Draven, a local blend from the Southern Islands, or Astra, the legendary cigarette from Grad. Teomotiri is favored by older men for its paper fil filter tips, sweet smell, and added tar. Still the same brand of cigarettes extinguished in Land's End. Point West? Could be a coincidence. Or the same person has visited Land's End and looks around. Yeah. I didn't see any signs of smoking inside though. The people live there. They keep it tidy. This here may also be a smoking spot. Inspect the wall. There's a firing slit in the wall in front of you, like a little window. Touch the concrete first. Quite old and grimy from years without cleaning by anything other than the rain. Look through the hole in the concrete. The spring screech as you lean on the mattress and crane your neck to look out. Trepidation. A tingling feeling in your stomach. A small piece of the 
Ooh. Small piece of the Martinez coastline opens up in the square in front of you, like a tiny island, uh, like a tiny landscape painting, one kilometer across the water. The ruins look familiar. On the left, a towering skyscraper, its top floor is shaved off by artillery fire. Cape Side Apartments, Rue de Saint Guilain, 33A and 33B. On the right, the red chimney and collapsed back of the four story tenements in front of the whirling and rags. Rue de Saint Guilain 10, the doomed commercial area. And between the two, the box shaped silhouette of the whirling and rags, its sloped roof. A tiny fleck of light catches your eye on the rooftop, sunlight reflecting off the upstairs window of Classy's room. Uh, either of these. There it is. Do you have line of sight to the window? Uh, uh thank you, Perception. More than that, Kim, with a pair of binoculars, I would be able to see inside the room. A pair of binoculars? Or a scope of a rifle? He points to the makeshift bed. You'd be prone lying on the mattress. Barrel resting on the arm embouchure. Cheek against the cheek rest. Hand on the hair trigger. On a calm day like this, Kim, I could make it. I could make the shot. Oh, we've got 70 experience. Good. He pats you on the back. Three small pats in a row. I think we have a detective. The origin of the shot. This is the sniper's nest. Affirmative. Better late than ever. He nods. Nothing pointed here. Many leads pointed elsewhere. Six people are dead. And this is true. Don't beat yourself up, officer. We did not put guns in their hands or get them drunk. The lieutenant pauses. Rigget comes over him. He looks north over the fortification and adds, We will make up for it. Here, I feel it. Will the shooter still be here? Where? He looks behind his back. On this island. He does not answer. Just nods. With his back hunched, he looks around once more and says, We should move. Now. Turn away. Ah! Thought breakthrough. Finally. The precarious world. How not to lose? It is impossible not to. The world is balanced on the edge of a knife. It's a game of frayed nerves. You're pushed on by numbers and punitive measures, pain, rejection, and unpaid bills. You can either play or you can crawl under a boat and waste away, turn into a salt or a flock of seagulls. Your enemies would love that. Or you can fight. The only way to load the dice is to keep on fighting. Critical success and failure thresholds lowered by one. Interesting. Seems good. Yeah. We still have a skill point. Nice. Uh, yeah, let's continue then. What was the... Rest in the flag tower, open the blast door. Cool. So, yeah. Those are our next goals, I guess. Alright. Uh... There we go. I forgot to change that earlier. Should have done that sooner. It's fine. No one noticed. Can I step here? Yeah, but nowhere else. It's fine. You feel eyes on your back. Someone's watching. But you can't say where. But we can go further up. of coming here was. Cool. <laughs> I don't know why we could walk here. Now I'm curious about this hissing sound. Sound of cargo ships, signal horns echo on the water. Cool. Maybe 
maybe it's just the water, I don't know. Could be the rustling as well. Hmm. Oh yeah, I can do this. We have so many uh, morale boosters that I'm not so worried about it. I'll go this way, okay. It's fine, let's uh let's go rest. Oh yeah, we should be like yeah, we need one new thought. Come on, give me a thought. Then we'll have two experience points, and then I don't feel bad opening up a new thought slot. I'm gonna try to inspire Harry by walking near things. Oh. Magnesium and money. Ah, look here. Feld Insular Console. Green paint flakes off the monoblock al aluminium cabinet. And there are rows of switches on the front panel, a frequency band, and even a keyboard. Run your fingers across the keyboard. The keys rattle like teeth. This keyboard hasn't been functional in decades. What is this, then? A console of an antique computation device. The lieutenant points to the wires running into the machine. Excuse me. The generator upstairs, with wires coming out. They terminate here. Could this open the blast door? Excuse me. Possibly. He inspects the dials. Urgence. Au revoir. Allume. Radio diffuse. Say. It sounds like this device was used to control the electronics here. Maybe it still does. This device was used to control the electronics in the room. It could open doors, control lights, function as a radio computer. Uh, turn emergency. Open. Push light interior. Nothing happens. Slide radio dial. The dial slides under the glass silently. You make out defunct stations on the UKV frequency. The words Feld Insular are written on the band. An idea lights up in your head. Maybe we could contact soon at the programmer lady. She could open the door for us remotely. The lieutenant inspects the indicator. This is an air-gapped system. Off-air, I think they call it. That won't work. Uh, okay. We're better off looking for a mechanical solution, if we need one at all. Uh, right before I do that... We actually got a new point, so let's open up a new thought, because, yeah, why not? And I think the one that I want to internalize next might be a might be date of birth generator. How long does called the moment I quite take? Seven hours. Oof. Can we work on two thoughts at the same time? Hmm, that sounds crazy. Uh... Mm, cleaning out the rooms sounds pretty interesting. Nah, let's do, let's do a nice long one. Magnesium-based life form is pretty funny. Um, motorway South is interesting. I think date of birth. Uh, yeah, let's go with date of birth generator. We can do another one as well. I think that's a decent idea. Uh, we could save it for a suggestion, though. A little unsure. Hmm. Uh. Sure, let's do that. Let's do cleaning out the rooms. Why not? Then we can internalize both same time dual wielding and since they're thoughts let's uh let's sleep on them that would actually be a pretty oh wait i forgot to actually open the door my bad turn on emergency open nothing happens we need to restore power before using this officer the generator. He looks up, says, It didn't look like there was fuel in it. Then he looks into the dim light into his right. We should look around and s 
Outside, there are barrels all over. Maybe one of them still has something over. The boat engine. Uh, failing that, we could go back to the mainland and get some. From... My kinima? He shakes his head. I don't want to do that. Let's just look around. Okay, leave. Yeah, I agree. I also don't want to do that. I don't want to take it from his car. I also don't want to take it from the boat. That seems like a bad idea. Ooh! Bad idea. I didn't notice that there was something here. Is this the final piece of clothing? Okay, I guess we're taking the long way around. The Fallen Arrower shirt. Hand-eye coordination up. Sure. It's okay. Oh, a new row just unlocks. Never mind then. Sleeve the same. Uh, only one of them is sleeveless. This Fallen training shirt has seen one wash too many. It retains its unusual design, one sleeve short, the other long, but little of its original colors. A giant F swooshes across its chest, now in grey. Cool. I don't really want it. But thank you. I guess there aren't any bottles on this island, so I'll just uh, put my bag away. Unfortunate, but what can you do? I'm gonna check if the map changed anything. Uh, why did it have a... Okay. Yeah, I don't know. Did that say arrest him? No, I can't remember. No. Yeah, let's just find fuel. I think it said something about there being one here. Why is the music ominous now? This barrel is run empty. There's almost nothing inside. Not enough fuel. You'll have to look around elsewhere. Hmm. Nothing here, hey. Okay, nothing there either. Oh, new thought. Be careful not to fall, the cliff looks steep. Thank you, brain. Why can't I step over to here? Oh, I see how this landscape works now. Okay. Let's try to get the fuel before the stream ends. I'm stretching. will take us all the way downstairs. Hope everyone's doing well. If you've watched this much of the stream, thank you, I appreciate it, and I hope you have enjoyed it. Even if you're watching this on YouTube for some reason. Long after the streaming day, probably. Let's go through this door. Let's look for some fuel. So it seems like this ominous part is just the opening part of the track. I, I still don't know what that hissing sound is supposed to be. I didn't double click. Alright. Like, yeah. Maybe it's the Phasmid. Maybe. Let me see where it's loudest. That Phasmid hissing, perhaps? 
that is indeed what it is. Where's the loudest? to be around here. Maybe Kim Ears as well? Okay. Nothing. Never mind. Maybe if we walk through the reeds? I'm pretty confident it's like right around here. Unless it's in the tree. Anyway, that's interesting. I'll have to investigate that. Are there any barrels in here? Nah. Doesn't seem like it. get to see over here. The winch is broken. Rust has eaten what remains of the chain. The depot that supplied this chain is long gone from the coast. A strange feeling, looking at the water. Maybe you should just wander off into the sea, leave it all and walk in? Why? Raise your sight. In the snowing mirror of the bay you see Martinez reflected, tall edifices of ruins reach into the water, like shimmering towers and the shacks too, pine trees and motor lorries upside down. Islets and posts like stepping stones lead into the water in front of you. Go, step in, it's been too long. Why? Perhaps there's someone there, under the water, waiting for you, where it has always been. Smelling of tutti fruity and betrayal, but it's cold. Yes, cold and still, but love is warm, like the inside of your mouth. Like the inside of her mouth. No, 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 no. Yes, yes, yes. No, no, we're not starting with that. Not now. Not, not this time. This thought is over. Shake your head. Thank you, Volition. What is that hissing noise? Maybe it's just the water. Maybe it's just the plant. Either way, I think now might be a good time to rest and end stream. Yeah, it seems like a good idea. Okay. 
I'm gonna thank you all for watching at the moment because it seems like that's what we're going to be doing. Wrapping up the stream, I mean. Why do I have such a weird way of phrasing things? Oh, wait, we didn't get to look at this. Reading materials, books and magazines lie scattered on the floor and on a makeshift cupboard. They are not particularly well organized, sift through them. Most are soft covers, serialized fantastic and detective stories from the 20s and 30s. This disparate digest includes the classic Animal Adventures. Popular depictions of man versus nature by amateur naturalists, T and T Harpin, husband and wife, widely read by people from all walks of life. Who doesn't like nature? Who doesn't want to survive? Among what is mostly commercial fiction and serialized stories, you find a magazine cathodique for electrical engineering, then it's back to pulp, light erotica, an international thriller about circuit benders. Someone's made themselves a home. Their attendant inspects the soft cover. Um, conceptualization. Let me put on a conceptualization shirt. Anything else? I would increase conceptualization. I don't think so. This is increased logic. Hmm. Interesting. Nah, it doesn't seem like anything else will increase our conceptualization. That's fine. Let's give it a try. Oop. Not that you can tell, this is a digest of someone who's dead bored. Most of it is from entertainment uh, is for entertainment purposes, fittingly right next to the radiola on the floor. Nothing, nothing out of the way. Maybe it's a little old fashioned. There's a nude mag. More than that you can't say. Hmm, the print in some of these is pretty small though. This person has good eyesight. No thanks. Do we still have a skill point? Nope, I spent both. Cool. Well, we'll try again after we wake up. Add more conceptualization things. Okay. Maybe a little shut eye, just an hour. Go to sleep. You face the concrete wall. There's a less there's less light there. In the dark corner. Like a dog you lie there. You didn't realize how tired you were. Your body is still nowhere near healed. Curl up with your knees close to your chest. The blanket feels cold. The entire room does, concrete and cold. Minutes pass, half an hour maybe. The sounds of the sea beyond grow distant. Your eyelids close until until you feel yourself standing up in the darkness, right next to the mattress. Slowly the world begins to hatch from the blackness. It's evening. Ooh, what does that mean? Where's Kim? Where's Kim? I can't touch anything. The tin is no longer here. Go outside to the beach. Which outside? Okay, well now I'm interested. The door is still here, closed. Feels strange somehow. You can't get in. I'll take any XP I can take. Uh, I can get. I said take twice. Did it mean this beach? Hmm. Did something bad about to happen? I hope not. Go down to the chain, there's something there. Okay. The chain's over here. Now, dude, walk into the water. Ugh, not again. You see her footprints on the water. 
Oh wait, we can walk on the water. Dolores Day, Dolores Day, the innocence of humanism, internationalism, and the welfare state, turns around to face you. She has an airship bag in her hand. We're just gonna finish this dream, okay? She seems to be in a hurry. Okay, don't say you need to talk right now. Oh, right away. Melt the ice first. This way you're already talking. But you don't even want to talk to her. She would only be cold and mean. Let her go. Let her go? This is the, o this is the holy queen of the territories of Mundi and Interland. Think of the historic knowledge we could glean. This is a once in a lifetime opportunity to win her back. Win her back? How does that fit in here? And what is the holy suzerain doing here anyway? What's in the bag? Just my scepter, my globe crucigere, a spare silk gown, a toothbrush, travel documents, the crown of immortality. Is, is she voiced by the same person as our limbic system? Crown of Immortality. Aren't you already wearing one? Oh, this? She corrects the wreath on her head for it. A, a crown of immortality is made of rarefied light, manna and war palladium. It was passed on to me by the rulers of late antiquity. She looks at the suitcase, not knowing what more to say, then over her shoulder. Where are you going? I'm going to Morova. To live there. In Grad. It's one million kilometers away, Harry. Might as well be another lifetime. Something is off. I'm sorry. I was heading to the aerodrome. I just don't have time to... She stops mid-sentence, glances to her right, then looks at her bag. She means she doesn't have time to tend to your emotions. You don't have time to tend to my emotions? She sighs and looks over her shoulder. What are you doing? Stop saying things like that. Can you stay for a moment? We need to talk. We need to have one more massive epic no, showdown. Harry. She shakes her head sadly. I don't want a massive epic showdown. I want to go to the aerodrome. I have tickets for the 1020 flight to Marova. Really? She looks at you paint plaintively. We don't have anything to talk about anymore. Every combination of words has been played out. The atoms don't form us anymore. Oh. It's all gone. I have to go to the aerodrome. I have to leave Robochon and you. And you have to give up. And help. Forever. That's just the way it is. Oh god, whatever you do, don't try to kiss her yet. Not after that. You're still reeling. You'll fall over if you try it now. I brought you this figurine of a headless fallen rider. I don't want it. She doesn't take it. It looks expensive. I don't want it. I thought you liked figurines. I thought the figurines were for getting you back. That's not what figurines do, Harry. But then the figurines don't do anything. She looks at the headless fallen rider between your fingers and doesn't know what to say. The figurines don't do anything? Anything at all? But I thought the historic figure. She had... She liked war games and figurines. Yes, I thought it would be good. A form of communication where words have failed? Yes. It was a good idea, but she felt obliged by the Headless Fallen Rider to give you things in return, things she no longer wants to give you, so she refused. That's how it goes. Your fi uh, figurine rider idea was naive. What about dice? I had some custom dice made in this place, a doomed commercial area. Harry, I don't want things. I want to go to the aerodrome. Okay, I won't give you things then. Okay, we got that at least. We got a an achievement. The figurines won't win her back. That's dark. I didn't ask for things. It's too late to give me anything. I would have liked the Headless Fallen Rider back then. But that's not a very good way for things to be. It's not, but she looks at her feet, little golden sandals over her toes. But what? Tell me there's something good. I don't know why I said but. There is no but. That's it? That's it, yes. She looks up from her toes talked about it a million times you will ne never get over it no oh, sorry you will get over it just like i did people do things will get good for you again where in hell stop you're only making it worse for him you never helped with anything 
Good for me where? In hell? I'm not getting over it at all. Maybe, I think I've reached the end of the investigation. Hmm, I don't know. See, her eyes one. Just take some time. For you, I think it will take something like 20 years maybe? It's hard for me too. I you think I couldn't live without you. She looks you straight in the eye. Her irises are light blue, flicked with green. But I can. She keeps her shoulders squared and her back straight, but it's clear you're still making her sad. Your innocence, Dolores Day, I'm sorry I made you sad. It's okay. It doesn't have to be like this. Maybe we could try again? Okay, then, super okay. I still have other things I need to know. Sure. What other things? She shakes her head. We've been through all the things, Harry. I don't know. Let's try the suggestion. No, let's maybe try. Don't go. Uh, don't go. No, don't say it. Don't beg. It will only make her go. It's all I have left. Wait, yes, I have other things. Where's the list? We can kiss. Somehow it feels very bad. With your feet trembling from the steps you took, tepid and fearful, you stand against her, her body close to you, radiating warmth. With your eyes closed, you move your lips to her mouth. She's not kissing you back. You're not kissing me back. Yeah, I'm not any of the other options. The moment is ending. She's going to move her face away from yours. Trying hard not to look at you. When she withdrew, you held on to her hand. She tried not to look at your face and see the expression there. Brother, you should put me in front of a firing squad. I have no words for how I failed you. That's it then. No, Harry, not yet. There's one more thing you have to see. She slides her hand down her chest and onto her lower stomach and smiles. I'm pregnant. Swallow. You know what this means? Is it mine? Of course not. She looks down at her belly, then up into your old eyes. I terminated yours. Don't you remember? You poor sod. Poverty stricken sod. Now go ahead. She wipes her palms into the silk of her gown. Uh, gown, sorry. Gown. Ask me more questions. Let's talk about something else. More questions. Ask more. What happens now? Nothing. I have to go. Her hands wrap around. Handle. Wraps around handle of the bag in her hand again. I guess the is missing. I'm gonna go now. You have sworn a holy oath, Harry. She herself begged you to not let her go. Nod silently like a martyr. <laughs> wow. Can we sit down and have a coffee first? There's a cafeteria on the corner. No, that would only be painful and dull. At the aerodrome, life, love, and laughter are waiting for me. At the care, at cafeteria, dust, hell, and tragic comedy. What are you going to do in Miner uh, Minerva? Sorry, not Minerva. Light, life, culture. It's so much better than here. Everything here reminds me of you and the horrible times we had, the nights we stayed up fighting for our dying love. I have to wipe it all off me and be clean again. I want to be a good person again, not this, not what you made me into. But I swore I wouldn't let you go. You told me. You asked me to be this way. That was someone else. I betrayed her, overwrote her, and I'm happy for it. But I'm really going now. The time is up. I must be on the 10.20 flight. It turns. Will we ever see each other again? I won't see you, but you will see me. How can that be? Oh, Harry, this is a dream, can't you see? I'm already in Morova by now. Who knows how long this happened? She looks around a year, two, five years ago. How will I see you again then? Right here, tomorrow night, 
Once the stream starts happening, it keeps happening three times a week, at least. And Harry, it really, really looks like it started happening again. There's the video rental. I'm suffocatingly beautiful and young, and I smell of tutti frutti chewing gum, like I did that time when I asked you for forgiveness after leaving you the first time. <clears throat> Sorry, so long ago. But this is intolerably bad. <laughs> yeah. Oh yes, this is real darkness. It's not death or war or child molestation. Real darkness is love for a face. The first death is in the heart, Harry. See you tomorrow. Man. I kinda wish I'd just ended it when we sat on the bed. You're up, quick. How was your sleep? Let's solve the case. My sleep was deep and invigorating. Desperately try to cover up all the blood seeping out with your hands. Actually, it was total annihilation, Kim. <laughs> and just spit out the blood, you're badass like that. Actually, it was total annihilation, Kim. He found, I did not want to wake you. Perhaps I should, uh, perhaps I should have. Was it the job dream? No, an ex-wife dream. The lieutenant nods solemnly. Understand, we've all been through similar things. It can be overcome. Let's comb the entire island centimeter by centimeter. That's the next step in the task chain. Sure. Okay, he replies simply. He's still worried. You must have really thrashed and squealed in your sleep. Ah, uh, well, at least we got some experience. I still need to find fuel. There could be fuel on the island, it says. Five hours and six minutes remaining on that. I guess no time technically passed. Uh, 6 hours 46 on that. Okay, that's where we're going to end it today. Thank you so much for joining me. Hope you had a good time. It was a lot longer than I intended. <sighs> and a lot sadder. Join me tomorrow for more Pyre. Pyre is coming tomorrow. Not Disco Elysium. This game will be back on Monday, probably. Unless, unless I decide to bring it back sooner. I don't know. Maybe I'll be wild and unpredictable. It's still locked. Yep. And with that, let's uh, let's go to the main menu, and I'll hopefully see everyone tomorrow. Thank you for joining me. And uh, goodbye, everyone.